Seguimos en esta cobertura especial en el juego de las futuras estrellas. Y hoy tenemos con nosotros Rafi Velázquez. Rafi, thank you and welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me, definitely. How does it feel for you to be selected to the All Star Futures game? Um, it feels great. It's definitely um, a dream come true. Um, something I've been thinking about since I was little. Um, seeing some of my favorite players play in this game, it's definitely a dream come true, yeah. What were you doing at the moment that they call you and tell you like, hey, Rafi, you're going to the future star? Uh, me and Jason got pulled out of the locker room and we got a motivational talk from our coaches just saying how uh, we got to be keep working on being leaders for the team. And then it ended off with um, him telling us that we got selected. So it was definitely a, definitely a surreal feeling. Tell me the truth. Do you cry a little? I, did, I didn't cry because I don't think it's like fully hit me yet. But once it all sinks in, maybe maybe a tear might come out. Maybe a tear might come out, but uh, I didn't cry. But definitely my parents are very emotional, and it's just been a surreal experience, yeah, so far. What, was going, uh, what comes to your mind when you think that you're going to be playing uh, outside in a major league baseball field? It's, it's a dream. It's a dream that you dream of since you're little. All that hard work, all the tears, all the sweat, all the blood that you put into this game, it's like, it's not come true fully yet because I haven't got to where I want to be, but it's a step in the right direction, definitely. So, how is your preparation, like day to day, to put the numbers that you're putting on? Mm -hmm. um, definitely, uh, long, hard days in the cage with uh, with Cole, um, talking with my dad a lot. He's been my hitting coach since I was little, um, and will for, forever always be. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a bunch of hard work that I put in when no one's watching. And um, yeah, that's been that's been the secret. How does it feel to know that you will have like a, a future Hall of Fame and be like the, the coach of the team, like Adrian Beltre? Yeah, um, I took a picture with Adrian Beltre when I was actually, uh, I think seven years old, I have a picture. And I showed him today and we took another picture today. So it was really cool, yeah. So, so we have like, like the past and the future. Uh -huh, do you want to see? We would like to know a little bit more about Rafi, but out of baseball, like for example, your favorite food. My favorite food, um, I'd say sushi, definitely. I love sushi, yeah. Do you know how to cook? I know how to cook a little bit. My mom's been teaching me, not that much, but I definitely got to get better at it, 100%. What kind of music do you listen? Uh, I love country. I love country music, yeah. Yeah, I love country music. You know, when I used to play baseball, I used to have like a superstition on my mind. Like, I, have, I used to have like a batting glove. Like, I had to play with them. Dirty. If my mom clean it, I feel like I'm not gonna hit a ball, yeah. right? Do you have ever have something like that, like a short shirt or something like that? Oh yeah, definitely. If I'm wearing like my elbow guard or my leg guard and stuff isn't like going right, I'll take them right off. I'll go the next set back with nothing on, and if I get a hit, I'll put them back on. Yeah, that's my superstition. Uh, favorite baseball player or the person that inspired you to play the baseball? Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper has always been uh, my role model. And um, if I see him here this weekend, I'm definitely like working on what I'm going to say. But yeah, definitely Bryce Harper. He's been a good role model for me, and I, I've always been trying to uh, go behind his footsteps, definitely. So just to finish, saying a shout out to all the fans and to all the family that have supported you since the day one. Yes, um, thank you all. Uh, I love all you guys, and we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're just starting, definitely. And to your dad, let's say that he needs to teach you Spanish, okay? He needs yeah. to teach you Spanish. He's, he told me when I come home for the off season, he's only speaking Spanish to me so I can understand. Nice, that's too good. Next interview, I'll know Spanish. Next ah, okay. Thank you, Thank so you brother. Thank no you. worries. Appreciate it. No olvides suscribirse a nuestro canal de YouTube. Seguirnos en Instagram, Facebook y TikTok. Arroba Latinos en Pelota.